What the hell are you doing here? I know you probably don't want to see me. You got that right. Why would you even come here? I heard about the shooting. I was worried. I want to make sure you're okay. Why? You hate me. I don't hate you. I care about you. You have a funny way of showing it. I know. I could have ended up in prison because of you. That's not the reason I came. I had to see you. To apologize. Now, no. I could have gone to jail for murder because of you, and I didn't even kill anyone. I know you didn't. So what's going to happen now? They're going to charge me for unlawful imprisonment. And then even if I only get community service, it's going on my permanent record. I'll have to admit it on all my college applications. Oh, Jack, if you don't get into college because of me... No, I'll get in somewhere. But that's not the point. For a long time, I've been wanting to tell someone. To confess. Only I didn't trust anyone. Until I met you. And then you turned me in. I know. I shouldn't have done that. Getting to know you was the most wonderful thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, yeah like I'll believe anything you say. I don't have a tape recorder. I would never do that to you again. Whatever. You said what you were gonna say. Now get out. No, I'm not leaving until you hear me out. You've got five minutes. I wasn't going to give the tape to Shane. Jack, after you talked to me, I understood that it was a mistake, it was an accident, that you were truly very sorry. So I told him, I told him I didn't record anything. Only then he got so upset that, Jack, I was afraid he was going to kill himself. And I'm not trying to make excuses. I should have never agreed to it in the first place. I don't even know why I did. But I'm, but it was wrong. And I'm just, I'm truly very sorry. Fine. You can go now. No. You confess to me. Now I have to confess to you. You want to confess? Great! What else did you do to me? You know what? Never mind. Wait. Neela, stop. I'm sorry. Okay? Tell me what you want to say. You know why I came here. My father was insisting I married that frog. Yeah, I remember. All my friends have arranged marriages. It's what's expected in my culture. It's, it's what I expected. But I dreamed about something different. A boy with wavy head and tall, strong-willed, ambitious. And I couldn't do it. So I ran away to America thinking I'd stay with my brother, go to school, get a job, and then look for him. But I never thought I'd meet him on my first night here. I, I don't know what you expect me to say. I don't expect anything. I just wanted you to know how I felt. You were honest with me, Jack. And I wanted to be honest with you. And even if you don't feel the same way, I'm glad I told you.